Two years ago today, gunshots rang out at a nightclub on Magnolia Avenue in East Knox, killing two men. Their families, two years later, still have no answers. Right now, friends and family are holding a prayer vigil to remember the two young men who lost their lives. Our Ellie Bird is there as well. An emotional day for these families, Ellie. Very much so, Ted. I'm standing outside of what used to be the MAG Lounge. It has now since been closed, but we are here at the second annual prayer vigil honoring the lives of Marquise Nolan and, and Jonah Caldwell. Friends and family are now leaving. They've already sent out the balloons to celebrate these two lives. A night out with friends turned into a tragedy for two Knoxville natives. Someone shot and killed Marquise Nolan and Jonah Caldwell at Mag Lounge on January 18th, 2021. Their killer still out there. Any mother that has lost her child, um, we think, you know, that's something that we're not going to do. We think that our children are going to bury us. But unfortunately, here in Knoxville, Tennessee, this a lot of mothers are burying their children. Nolan, age 23, Caldwell, age 25, were friends from high school and both went to Austin East. Tanya Nolan, Marquise's mother, holds this vigil every year to honor and spread awareness about her son. Maybe yesterday, the day before, we're still thinking about Marquise. Mm -hmm. For you to reach out and say, hey, Miss Nolan, no new information, mm -hmm. but I haven't forgot about you. That right there is so important. Marquise left behind two sons, his mother and sister. Mandarin Nolan graduates high school in May, something she and her brother used to dream of. When you walk across the stage, I'm going to be the loudest one in the room. That's something that he's always said. And I mean, I know he's going to be the loudest. I just hate that. He's not here physically, but I know spiritually he's going to be there. Nolan and Caldwell's murders are part of nearly 80 unsolved murder cases of men in Knoxville since 2004.